Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to see an important molding process which is an injection molding. The name injection suggests that the mold is moving through the die cavity in the form of plunger action and how it is done we are going to see in this video. So in our next slides, I'll show you the diagram of an injection molding process. In an injection molding process, there is a hopper above your mold. So what happens, material comes from the hopper, it enters the cavity and the cavity would be having a plunger, which is in the form of an injection and it is moving in the forward direction. Material is being fed by a heated barrel which helps in the proper flowability of the material and from the die cavity the material comes out by getting a proper shape. So when you see this diagram you can see there is an injection type structure. Above that there is a hopper and the whole arrangement of an injection molding is done. There is a basic unit, there is an injection unit etc. So material is getting transferred to the die cavity where your exact shape is to be formed through the process of injection molding. So these are some components listed which are used in injection molding process. You need a clamping unit, you need an injection unit because all these units play a very important role unlike in compression molding or by using any other kind of molding process. So these are some general steps to follow. Firstly, you need to feed the material. Then your exact injection takes place. Then your material reaches the shape where it has to be shaped. The material comes out. It is holded at that certain temperature, then cooled. And after cooling the material, the material is ejected from the other side. So this is the basic flow of an injection molding process. So the material in injection molding process is in the form of small heated granules which are vibrating as the machine starts. So as the machine starts it reaches your injector and it is forwarded through your injection process and reaches your shape of the die and comes out in the form of the shape which is required. So in this diagram you can see the same process again but a hydraulic system is written because the injection molding unit works on a hydraulic process. So these four diagrams are the basic diagram how the exact material part is made. First filling of the material is done, then cooling of the material is done, then the mold opens and your part is ejected. This is the exact part that is your molding part. The whole assembly is not shown in this diagram. So there are many advantages of an injection molding process. Color is good, process is fast and rest of the advantages are being listed below. There are n number of advantages. Along with the advantages there are some disadvantages like initial setup cost is high. Running cost is okay but if you are making a small object by using injection molding process it becomes costly. So these are some application of injection molding process. What happens? It is used in art making toys, electrical components and many automotive industries. So these are some general examples of injection molding process. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and do subscribe our channel Ikeda.